It's so hot, oh my god. I knew this was gonna be frustrating. I am so angry right now. We are going to install a window unit today because I've waited to the end of June where it's like 87 degrees and I'm dying and I'm worried about my cat. So we're finally gonna put it in the window. That's the window. Yeah, so I keep my window unit in my closet because it's too heavy to go into my storage unit. Fun fact. Okay, but as you can see, I have no room here. So first things first, because I live in a studio, let's Oh my god. Oh! Okay, so it's not as heavy as I thought. Oh, oh. oh no. Okay. Oh boy. We'll set it there for now. So that's the window that it has to go into because even though I would love to have it in my living room bedroom, the windows are too small. I struggled for like two hours last summer trying to get it in one of those. So it is a bummer that I have to keep it in my kitchen, but um, you know, like I said, I live in a studio, so my space is still pretty small, so it's fine. Plus I like the heat, it's cool. Yeah, so it has to go in that window because it's chonky enough to, to, take, to take it, you know? These are new windows. These things were in my window? I don't know what these are. I don't know what these do. Ooh. I have to be careful so my cat doesn't fucking get me crazy ideas, you know? I need to get a hammer. No, I need to get a, a power drill. Okay, but why does this outfit, like, look like I should be doing this right now? Ugh. This part sucks. Okay, this part sucks. Okay, whatever. Let's get her up. Ugh. Oh God. This shit always makes me so nervous. Well, this ain't right. This is supposed to like screw down there and fit in here. This shit ain't fitting. Like that fits, but also I don't really trust it, you know? This feels like it could fall out at any moment, which is my worst nightmare. Like that is supposed to screw into the window. And last year that worked just fine because I had different windows. But I just got these new windows installed and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Man, what the f oh. oh my god. Oh no, oh god. Okay, we gotta go back to the drawing board. Okay, well maybe I'll wait to um, get this installed because now it is it is like pouring rain, which hopefully will cool things down. I still don't know what I'm gonna do, but I was reading about this filter. What the f things doing? What the hell? I'm a triple fire sign, and I'm feeling spicy as. Okay, anyway, so I was looking and apparently um, there's a filter that needs to be taken out every 30 days and cleaned. Uh, I've never do that. I've never, I've never done that. I've never done that before. So we're gonna take the filter out right now. It took me a second to find it. If I can even get it out. Okay, it's gross, but actually it's not as disgusting as I thought it was gonna be. We'll wash it now. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the saga continues. I'm gonna have to give up on that window and I'm gonna have to go back to the original window that I wanted to put this in, which is the window in my living room. 
but the issue is it, it's a storm window so the back half is higher than the base of the window sill and so that causes the unit to tilt inward which it's better for it to tilt out because when it that helps it drip or drain drain and drip but in order to do that i'm gonna have to get a piece of wood i'm gonna have to go to home depot i don't even know who, 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 who. i gotta ask somebody at home depot to cut me some wood i gotta measure some shit. here i'll show you a diagram so here's the window sill this would be the front of the ac unit this is the back. So I've got the storm window that's it's this this lip. It's higher than the window sill, so it tilts in. I need a piece of wood that sits a half inch higher than the vinyl frame. I'm not good at math. <sighs> this might make me a crazy person, but even though I know the solution, I'm still gonna try and put the window unit in the window right now so I can fully understand how much wood I need. How much wood would a girl need if a girl needed wood for a window? No, you get back. No, get back. Oh my God. No! Oh, gross, gross, gross. Armadillo's favorite window, um, so he's gonna be really pissed when he can't access it anymore, but sucks to suck, you know, maybe if he paid a little rent, then we could have some other options, you know what I mean? Okay, can you move? Can you please turn? Yeah, yeah, get on. This sucks, this super sucks. God, this window is busted and crusted as shit. That's not a lot of but it it's tilted inward which is the problem it'd be better if it was the other way but like okay so it needs to be tilted slightly out i should grab my tape measure so i can measure how much wood i need you get away okay okay so let's open the window <laughs> okay these windows are old as <laughs> feeling fucking angry. And I look like shit. No! An armadillo is trying to hop on this window. Can you not? Can you go away, please? There he is. I love him dearly, but he's useless. This might be a fast. I might just be like, we're gonna have a literal hot girl summer. Maybe I can... Oh my god, okay, wait. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? He just tried to jump on the window. I don't know where you thought you were gonna fit, but no, no. Sir, can you not? Yeah, that's not a ledge. Yeah, I know. I don't wanna put him in the bathroom, but I might have to, cause, because this is, it's already too stressful. And then I have to worry about him. And then I have to worry about him. <sighs> Back to whatever I'm doing. Why, why am I wearing this little apron? Like, oh, Trying to be cute. For what? For why? Nothing matters. Ugh. Oh my god. What a nightmare. Mm. Couldn't even really see what I was doing there. Let's get this angle where I'm just really fucking grunting. Oh, can you move your paw, sir? Ah! I mean, I don't even think that's accurate. Two and a half, no, it's not even two and a half, two and a fourth, two and a fourth. And then we need it to be with, right? <sighs> Excuse me. I'm glad you're having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where'd you go? Excuse me. It's raining again. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out of the window, write down the measurements. I guess I'm gonna go to Home Depot. Maybe there'll be a cutie 
there that can help me. It's probably not. I feel like it's all like retired men who work there. I'm back. I went to Home Depot, you know, to get a piece of wood. This is the piece of wood I got. I gotta be careful with f***ing splinters though. And I was right, sort of, about the the men helping me. I went up to their like pro service desk and I was like, if I need someone to cut wood, who, who could help me? And they're like, oh, this guy over here. And I had one of those thoughts. This is what I try to think about a lot when I'm like out and about because I would like to meet someone organically. I'm like, oh, any moment I could turn around and there he is. Well, I turned and he was younger, probably my age, and he was cute, but very quiet. You know, I don't know how attractive I was looking. He could barely look me in the eyes and that's either because I'm so hideous that he would hurl or I was so attractive that he didn't know how to talk to me at all. Um, either way, no date, didn't get his name, there was no flirting, but he did hook me up with the piece of wood. It's thinner than I want. I guess they don't make two and a fourth inch thick pieces of wood. I guess that doesn't really surprise me. So he was like, here, have some shims. And I was like, I would love some shims. As you can see, Armadillo is in the window because it's his favorite window and I'm so sorry little baby. I'm sorry little baby. Mm. Bye. Okay, this kind of makes me nervous. But I grabbed a hammer. Oh, it wants to fit. I feel I feel like a real woodworker. Well, this is already feeling a lot more stable and sturdy, which is great. Okay, but we do have a bit of a problem. If you look, there's a big old gap, and I'm not trying to have you know bugs and shit. Okay, but this is feeling kind of promising, although like. It's supposed to nail and drill into there. I don't think it's gonna do that. <sighs> That's closer to working. Uh, maybe this is where I put in some shims. We're getting closer though. This is, this is actually feeling kind of successful, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. No. Okay, well, I would not recommend doing this without gloves because I feel like I'm definitely gonna. A little shimmy shammy. I'm glad that guy was like, you could do this with some shims and me not knowing, but it's actually the perfect thing that I need. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's like so close, but also like not at all. Oh, okay, that's better. Okay, that's okay, but will that actually fit now? <sighs> you know, I get one side, but then the other side is kind of... <sighs> so now we need to like drill the shit in here. <sighs> okay, I forget how to... There was a moment in time where I was using my drill a lot, and I remember how to get... It's like the teeth are on there, but I don't know how to get it off. <clears throat> okay, well maybe we don't need a drill hole. We need a drill hole. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I figured it out. This one's a little wonky for sure. Hoping I'm screwing into the actual... I mean... God, it's just gonna like just go in there. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're in a good spot. There's more we need to do because I still have this gap up here. So I'm gonna tape that for now. Ideally, there's like these holes right here where you're supposed to like drill, screw into the actual window, actual window, but I have this gap and that's just not gonna happen. So um, I'm gonna go back to Home Depot and I'm gonna get some foam for up here. And I think I'm also, just cause I'm a little nervous, but I might see if I have 
if there's any, um, I don't know, like L things that I can maybe like somehow like attach this to the window just a little bit more. Plus both of these are supposed to have two screws and I've only got one screw right now, but I don't have any more screws. So, okay. Back to Home Depot we go. I'm back from Home Depot part two. I got more screws. I got another piece of wood, but that's not going to work. But I think I have another idea just to make it more secure. But I'm so angry right now because a drill bit is stuck. The rage I feel right now and I can't get it out and I've screamed <sighs> so many times. I was able to get a second screw in over here. Hooray. I was finally able to get it out. It happened again. It happened again. It's like so close, but look, it got <laughs> stuck again. And I was making such good progress. And now I've just been sitting here for maybe 10 minutes staring because I feel a continued rage. Because I've been working on this since I woke up today. It is now 4 p.m. I got up around 10. What the actual f I need a man or I need to be rich. I think I would take rich first. So, you know, subscribe to this. I am so angry right now. I'm like so close to being done. I'm so close to being done and I I can't like this shit just keep happening and I'm uh, uh, I'm going to die. Like I said, I'm a triple fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, and I feel so full of rage right now. I used to be an angry kid. I used to be a very angry kid. I'm not even totally sure why. My former therapist once said that I have big emotions. I guess that sums it up. I mean, I, I used to throw shit. I would yell shit. I would just like things would irritate me and I didn't know how to express it up until the point that I needed to like explode so there was one time I don't know I was like maybe like 11 or 12 and my parents brought home Burger King for dinner and I loved their chicken tenders but I loved their barbecue sauce and that day they forgot the barbecue sauce and I lost my goddamn mind I was so <laughs> upset that I kicked a hole into a wall in my house. <laughs> I've I've calmed down a bit with age and yoga. That's helped. I'm just better able to articulate how I'm feeling leading up to the moment and I have ways to like kind of like take it down a notch before I explode, but who I can be a spicy one. <laughs> Okay, maybe I just needed to talk about my feelings because I got it out. Oh. Okay, almost done. We are so close. Oh. oh my god. We're done. I need to clean up. Do a little vacuuming because there's little wood pieces everywhere and window dirt. But my god, my god, we're done. Whew. Oh lordy. Thank you. Oh.